Hi, my name is Pankaj Dubey and in this video we are going to learn that how to perform API testing using JMeter. JMeter is a very popular tool when it comes to performing performance testing for any websites but also it's a very important tool and very useful tool when it comes to performing the API testing or the performance testing for APIs. So here uh, in this uh, sheet I have mentioned all the instructions that you have to follow while doing the API testing using JMeter and simply we have to demonstrate that by following these steps in JMeter. So first of all what you have to do is you have to add a thread group in the JMeter. So you have to launch the thread, uh, you have to launch the JMeter and this is the screen that you will be uh, finding. And you have to right click on test plan, go to add and then threads and then thread group. So you have to follow this step to add a thread group. And on this screen you don't have to change anything as we are not going to perform the load testing. So it's just that there is one user, it will reach the, to the site on uh, in one second and this is the loop count only one time. Right, so again going back to my instructions page and here you can see that under the thread group you have to add a sampler called HTTP request. And under that HTTP request you have to put all the API details like HTTP, HTTPS protocol, server name, path parameters and request type so these are the five six things that you have to put there and here in the sample API you can see that this is the protocol HTTP and then comes your uh, API server name which is api.openweathermap.org and then the path path starts from the first forward slash and before the question mark so this is the path that you have to put put and then the parameters uh, or you can also say that these are the search parameters based on which the API will give you the result right so this is something that we have to put there so what I'm going to do is we are going to just um, go back so what I have to do is I have uh, all this detail in my uh, notepad here so I'll copy it here and we'll paste it in the JMeter so as I said under that thread group you have to add one HTTP request going to JMeter under thread group go to add go to sampler and add a HTTP request in that HTTP request what you have to do is you have to first put the protocol which is HTTP you can also leave it blank and it will by default consider it as uh, HTTP and then the server name which is this and in case if you have any port number then you can put it there and then the method so basically you will be asking your DevOps team to give you the API documentation and there you will find that for all API what method you will have to use so in my case it is get method and now I have to put the path so path is here I have to copy it and paste it in JMeter I filled the path now I have two parameters if you see there are the, the parameters names are Q and app ID right so we have to put the Q parameter and then the app ID so I'll just you have to put the parameters here click on add put the parameter name and the value similarly add one more put the parameter name which is app ID in my case and now I have to put the value so value is this right so it is done click outside now going back to my instructions and here you can see once you're done with the, with the HTTP request you have to add a listener because also you have to view the results so to add a listener you have to again right click on the thread group you have to go to listener and then add a view results entry so I'll right click on the thread group go to add go to listeners and then view results entry so it, it will show you the result so that's it we are done with the uh, with our setup now now you can simply click on this button and it will execute your script so once you click on here it asks you to whether you want to save it or not so for the time being leave, leave it as it is we are not going to save it I clicked on no and now go to view results tree here you can see that it has given some error right so you have to read this and you have to find that what could be the error behind it Right, so what we are going to do is we probably uh, have some copy paste issue so I'll just uh, remove this thing you can leave it as it is blank uh, blank and by default it will consider it as HTTP and then this part get method is okay to make sure that there are no white spaces okay I think now everything is okay now I'll clear the result and will re-trigger the script now let's see 
here you can see that there was some error with the probably copying with HTTP and now you can see that it has been passed and now the response data is here you can verify this response data with your expected response data and you can pass your script and this is a plain JSON data that is had is it has given in a response so what you can do simply go on Google and search for any JSON parser online and uh, you can simply copy your response data here and it will by default structure it and will show you that how the response data looks like so here you can see that it has given a response code called 200 so whenever you are placing any HTTP request for any website or API it gives you a response data or you can also say that it gives you an HTTP response data so for any good response it gives you 200 or 301 Right, so based on this parameter also you can make your script fail or pass. Right, you have to put some assertions at the runtime whether your script should be fail or passing based on certain judgments. So what you can do, you can just go to thread group, right click here, add and go to assertions. You can put many assertions as and when required. So for the time being what we are going to do is we are going to just check the response assertion of the API. So as here you can see that it has given response code 200 so I'll put the response data here as 201 so it will not match and the first case will be a fail right so I put it here 201 and I'm just going to clear the results and re-trigger the script click on no and here you can see that the HTTP request has been failed because the response code which is 200 is not matching with the response code 201 so I'll just uh, make it 200 and will clear the result and will re-trigger the result and will save it not save it for the time being and here you can see that now the HTTP request is passed. So that's it. That's, this is how you can perform the API testing.